Thank you, Gary, and good evening to all of you. It's really uh, very good of you. It's a great gift that you have uh, made time in your busy schedules to be here. Thank you for doing that. Thanks, too, for the weather, for cooperating a bit tonight. Uh, there were three sessions last night in uh, Sandusky and St. Louis and in Saginaw. And amazingly, just because of the timing of the storm, it didn't get in the way of people coming to the, the meetings. Actually, there's more people came than had registered uh, to show up. So that was, was fortunate. Tonight, there's also meetings in Bad Axe and in Clare, as well as here. So again, thank you. My name is John Reed. I'm just from a few miles down the road, as I was telling Alice over there in a town called Seattle, Washington. Uh, I'm a member of St. Mary's Parish there, and uh, I'm glad to be here with you. I'm actually back in my roots. I was a Chicago, New York person by background, so Midwest roots feels good, and I know that you know how to handle snow and all that good stuff. We're here tonight for a very important purpose, to have a conversation about each of your parishes and uh, to help you learn about how you can contribute as much as possible to this important project that is called Planning Tomorrow's Parishes. Um, I was with the bishop earlier today, and he asked me personally to express his greetings to all of you and his gratitude to you for uh, your willingness to serve on these core teams. In fact, I'd like to, to start, I wanted to start with, with um, a couple words from the, uh, the bishop's letter. And I, I just put it someplace, here it is. Uh, if you have the bishop's letter, uh, it was given to you separate from the binder. Just a couple words, the bishop begins in talking to you by saying, I deeply appreciate your willingness to take a significant role in planning tomorrow's parishes. With your help, every parish will be asked to assess its strengths, name concerns, and explore ways to work with other parishes to better serve the people of God. We'll come back in a moment to those goals that he speaks about for the project, but I'd like you just to look at the ending of his letter. He says, my hope is that we will achieve the goals of this project in light of the church's purpose to evangelize. Our call is to do the work of Jesus Christ to the best of our abilities, whatever the structures and resources at our disposal. Again, our call is to do the work of Jesus Christ to the best of our abilities. Tonight is about saying, how can you contribute your gifts, your best thinking, your faith, your care for your parish into this project. And part of my role is to help you understand what your task is. So if you look on the screen or on the top of the agenda for tonight, which also was given to you, it says the first purpose is to examine the role of the parish core team. That's the pastor or pastoral administrator plus four. So you are the parish core team We'll talk about other roles and others in this process. But so the first thing is that between now and 8.30 that you understand what's being asked of you. I'm sure you've seen a little bit of what's being asked. Tonight you'll be able to learn a lot more. Secondly, to understand the parish's responsibilities. So I wanna say something now, I'll probably say four or five more times this evening. Your responsibility as core team members is to see that all the work is done it is not to do all the work, okay? So it's to see that all the work, and there is a fair amount of it to done to assess your own parish, to do a parish of self-evaluation uh, based on some criteria we'll talk about. It's also to look at some data that's been, uh, will be presented to you by the diocese, but it's also to get as many of your fellow parishioners as involved as possible. So it's not just all about your work as core team members, as important as your role is, but how you can get others involved. Thirdly, we wanna to begin tonight the process of identifying conversation partners called here cohort partners. So each parish in the diocese, all 105 parishes are involved as you are tonight in doing, beginning the process of doing some parish evaluation. But beginning in March, 
you'll be talking with neighbors, with two or three or four neighboring parishes about the future of the church in this part of the diocese. So the language of cohort partners, you're gonna be asked tonight to uh, sit with each other at your individual tables and say, well, what's our first choice for partners? What's our second choice? What's our third choice? And whether that's geography, history, whatever the reasons for that, we'll come back to that. And then to share prayer and faith, reflection and learning together. So this is really a conversation. The binder that you have in front of you that I uh, will lift up here is, uh, is yours to take home to look at. We're not gonna cover everything in the binder tonight because you don't wanna stay here till 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night. Um, but it's intended to be a resource for you so that you have all the information you need, at least that we know of right now, to be successful in this process. And that's what part of my role is. I'll be continuing to work with you and uh, the people I met with last night in the central region of the diocese um, to help you be successful in this process by being able to share your best thinking uh, and why and to understand what's being asked of you. So um, I wanna do one last thing before we move into prayer and that's be able to just to, um, say that you will also should have on your sheet, your tables, a blue sheet of paper, which is simply a, a yes, a, um, can I just use this as a, oh, you've already done this, very impressive. So I'd ask you tonight to fill out your name and contact information because we want to regularly be in relation to you. You didn't have it at your table? He was, he, he was, he, oh, yes, yeah, so you can just share with each other. Yeah, so if, if you, so I just ask you to do that. We'll come back to the other sheets you were given a little bit later, but as long as the blue sheet that I see you have. A... Okay, good, thank you. Okay, so if you would take time to do that, but let's, let's pause for a moment in the midst of a busy day to take a couple minutes in uh, prayer.